I'm often asked, how do I convert, resize, adjust, modify an existing design? Here I'll show how to take a king size model of a bed and convert that to a queen size. The king is mattress is 76 uh, wide and the queen is only 80 so there's a difference of 16 uh, inches there and so I'm going to change the size of the mattress and I know that uh, I can just move this left end 16 inches I have to select all of that end of that mattress that is shaped and bring it over 16 inches so now I have the mattress at the queen size these posts need to be moved and also that rail underneath and the side rail and again I can shift that over 16 inches just by typing 16 and holding on the red axis this foot rail here and notice that I'm selecting all of the joinery on the end so that I save all of that joinery and that tenon will match up into that mortise that's all, that was already there and go through this process on this upper rail go on the red axis and type 16 these slats are all the same component so all I, I have to just change one component one slat edit that component uh, select its end or I could have push pulled in this case because there isn't joinery on the end so just moving one slat moves all of those slats 16 inches over now at this uh, this foot rail there's this decoration here that I need to shift over 8 inches half of the 16 and I need to select all of those pieces and then I can again uh, hold uh, tap the right arrow key to hold on the red axis and then shift over 8 inches So the foot rail then is, well, these little sockets are in the wrong place on the foot rail. Let me just turn on x-ray so you can see these little sockets. Uh, so I can edit that foot rail and select all the sockets. It helps that I'm in x-ray because I can see that when they are all selected and then I move those over 8 inches on the red axis type 8 return and it's perfect match I have the sockets on the upper rail as well that need to be shifted over 8 inches select them all with a select tool, a select box, type 8 inches on the red axis. So those are all now matched up and fitting uh, perfectly. I see that there's a couple things that need to be changed down here in the lower section. This big center rail and and bracket need to shift over eight inches uh, 
Okay, now back up. This is the hardest part of the change. And there's more going on up here. Uh, the top rail is easy enough. Again, select box around all the tenons and bring that over 16 inches now. Type 16, return. And the bottom rail is the same process. Select all the tenon joinery. Use the move tool. Tap the red ax the, the red uh, arrow key to hold on the red axis and so on. Ooh, I can't delete. That's a group or something um, so, or a component. So let me explode that so that the individual pieces I can work individually. I can delete these pieces that are hanging out in thin air. Um, I don't need any of those pieces. And so those are gone. But now this, I need to make that a unique component because there are other si pieces that same size in the headboard decoration. So, and I need to make this unique component name because there are repeats of that component in the headboard decoration. Now I can change this one. It's a it's new component. And I can select the end tenon. And in this case, it's I have to hold on the green axis, so I hit the left arrow key and type 16. There's some sockets that were in that that need to be deleted. So that new component is there. Here's another one that is already unique and I need to select that tenon and move it back so that it is flush with the inside face of the head post. There. All right. Now I see some garbage here that needs to be deleted, some little sockets that were in this component. So I can edit that component and uh, select those extra pieces, edges, and sockets. And there's one down here that needs to be removed. And I think that that is all that needs to be done in eight or nine minutes. We've converted a king size to a queen size. Hide the mattress here just to make sure that everything is converted properly. Looks looks pretty good. Ready to make a a new size.